Hi everyone, uh, my name's Stuart Cattell, um, I live in Warwick and um, I've been doing video for 30 years now. Um, it's my passion, I absolutely love it. I work from home now, I have had a studio in the past, a professional studio with a white room and everything, but uh, just work from home, which is great, so we've got five children, so uh, it's quite a hectic life, but uh, like yourselves, I think this is a really good idea, by the way, that we're all sharing this community between all the TV guys and, and the camera people and that, that we can all get together during this quiet time. Um, we've managed to keep going with product videos. Uh, they, they come to us in the post and we shoot them for, um, for shopping channels and things like that. So, so that's really good, that's kept us going. But what, what, where we've suffered mainly is obviously the loss of weddings. They've all not canceled, but just moved to later on in the year. So we're still hopefully gonna have a bumper second half of the year. And um, we've also just kept going with um, the odd bits of, of filming shows and stuff like that that, have, that that went ahead. But obviously that stopped quite, quite quickly. So we've virtually dried up now, just a bit of editing to do coming in. Um, but uh, I started the business um, after being at Jaguar. I was a tool maker and just loved video. I had an edit suite in the bedroom, work from home. Started off with weddings, cine to video transfers still do them and um, we, we've got a VHS uh, deck and Hi8 and DV cam and all that kind of stuff that we put onto DVD still or, or USB for people that's kept us going as well throughout the recession so there's an idea for you if you can if you can get an analog player and convert it onto a DVD or an MP4 um, that's kept us going um, but just really passionate about the business I'm just worried hopefully that we don't lose the business with this recession um, if we head into two or three months, that's quite damaging for us because we've got all this equipment on a lease. We've got an edit suite, which you can't see over here, and we've got the edit suite avid behind us. And it's just my passion. It's what I want to do all the time. It's just been such a great job, and I can't believe the places I've been and the places I've visited as a result of being a cameraman. People always say to me, it must be so interesting. And it is, isn't it, guys? I mean, it's so varied, the work. I mean, I don't know whether you, you all specialise in, in various things. We just take wherever the work's coming in. So weddings, dance shows, theatre shows, all that kind of stuff, just, just to keep the money coming in. Because we have like a three-year lease, and that's obviously quite expensive at the moment when we're not working. So, uh, And what we normally do then is enjoy a year payment break, and then we change our edit suite every four years just so we can keep up. I shoot on a Canon Mark II, C300 Mark II which I absolutely love. And I've got a couple of the big P2s, HP X600s as well. Um, so we do events with that because they've got the bigger lenses on. And then I use the Canon for all my product work. Um, but just thinking back at some of the jobs over, over the, the last few years, and, and it's just been a great experience. I've, I've filmed in a prison. I did an induction video. I think the police officers got so fed up with the abuse with the people in the induction room, they just lock them in a room now and just show them a VT just to show them the, the rules of the prison. And I remember sitting there with one of the guys and the police officer, the, the prison officers never left me for one second until one point he shot off to do something. And the guy started telling me why he was inside for ABH. So I, was, I was sat there sort of like thinking, oh dear. And um, the most boring job I can ever think of in, in, in all these years is I had to film for a fish auction and these koi carp fetch 20, 30,000 pounds sometimes and um, they didn't want people crowding around the vats. So I went to um, an aquatics company that was supplying the koi and uh, we filmed them all over a 10 day period individually. I had to wait for them to be caught individually. I mean, it was soul destroying and even the lighting wasn't brilliant. It was in a greenhouse. So we spent the first two days just with bin liners, getting rid of all the shadows and the fish had to look exactly correct so uh, that was the most laborious job I've ever done but met some great mates and great uh, people along the way um, all my clients become friends it's just such a great business to be in we always have a laugh and um, it's just such a varied thing and, and the biggest shock I had um, 20 in the millennium um, the 2000 uh, a couple paid for me to go to New Zealand to do their wedding I'd done quite a lot of people in the crowd and um, it was just amazing. So I got the email through and I thought, he can't be serious. He didn't think I'd go. I didn't think he'd pay. And uh, I ended up in New Zealand for 10 days going out on five stag nights. Uh, just became one of the guests at the end of the time. And um, it's, I could 
tell you loads and loads of stories. Being a cameraman is probably the best job in the world. It's, you know, I, I just don't want to do anything else. And if you feel the same way, let's hope we all come out of this and enjoy a really good second half of the year. And uh, great idea for the videos, Dave, so just keep it going, mate. Thank you.